This just feels so wrong. And I don't even know how to express the level of dismay and distaste I had when I saw this in the reveal. This is Doom Eternal, and it doesn't look great. Look, here's the thing. Fine. Listen, I'm um, gonna be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. <laughs> What's going on guys? You know, as you saw from the intro of this video, we're going to be dealing with some absolute genius here today, and I really don't think this video needs much introduction. You know, the title of the video we're taking a look at here today is Doom Eternal Looks Terrible. Now, it is important to note this video is a little bit on the older side, but it was made when the first gameplay reveal trailer was actually shown, and while I don't know how anyone with a working set of eyes could see that reveal trailer and not be excited for that game, much less say that it looks terrible, dude. I'm not really sure how that works, but at the same time, everyone is entitled to their opinion. It is just video games we're talking about at the end of the day, and you know, this is the internet, so everyone does have their opinion, but at the same time, I have every right to respond to it, because in this video, there is definitely some big-brained activity taking place, and while a lot of the points he brings up against Doom Eternal are just complete bullshit in all honesty, so, you know, I think this should be pretty fun. I have been sitting on this video for quite a while, waiting for the right moment to make a video on it, and well, I think this is the perfect time time with Doom Eternal coming out in just two months. But anyway, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into why Doom Eternal is terrible. We started with a very simple goal. Make him the strongest and most powerful hero we've ever created. So as you can see <laughs> in these concept illustrations, he's had a bit of an update. Look at this dude. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, these are like Facebook quality boomer memes. Like, this is a great way to start off the video. You know, if you're gonna start off your video with memes, they've gotta be dank, bro. Like, this shit is like some Facebook quality soccer mom shit. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, man. When that Spider-Man music turned on, I fucking lost it, dude. Like, it's not that the meme itself is actually funny. It's that the attempt to meme is so sad, dude, that it was physically painful to watch to the point where I just couldn't help but laugh, dude. That was my coping mechanism. This is literally like a 40-year-old mom trying to meme on Facebook. Guys, did you know that Doom had a lot of gore? Like, this is the first time I'm hearing about this, dude. I thought this game was like rated E for everyone. In case you missed it, QuakeCon was this past week and we got some incredible new footage of the new Doom Eternal, which in case you missed it, was announced at Bethesda's E3 conference where we got some incredible rendered trailer of the new Doom Eternal. This is not Doom 2, of course, because that would be confusing. This is Doom Eternal. And it doesn't look great. Incredible new footage of the new Doom Eternal. And it doesn't look great. So I'm just gonna assume this man has about as much skill at sarcasm as he does with making memes, dude, because in order to contradict yourself that badly within the first 20 seconds of what sounds like a scripted YouTube video is quite the accomplishment, I must say, man. Like, congratulations. But, you know, I think we should go by judging off the title. You know, Doom Eternal looks terrible. So obviously this guy does not think the game looks great, even though he said we got some really impressive gameplay footage. So, you know what? It's whatever, man. We're already off to a fantastic start here. First, the boomer memes and an immediate contradiction. The web-slinging Spider-Man with a gun gameplay certainly looks high octane and action-packed. You know what they say, guys, loud is funny. And I've talked about how Doom is speed. In fact, that was my biggest complaint about Doom VFR. It had no speed. I mean, we're barely into like this video 30 seconds and this guy's already making a nothing point here. And getting off topic, VFR was slower paced because if you have a fast paced VR game, you are literally going to throw up all over your floor. It included weird non-Doom decisions like hacking minigames and putting out fires. Literally, 
putting out a fire with a fire extinguisher. I mean, this is really a learning experience, guys. I never knew what a fire extinguisher was for until this video. Quintessential doom right there. This one feels doom, but bastardized. The fact that they call it Doom Eternal instead of Doom 2 to avoid people searching for Doom 2 from finding all that other stuff really kind of cements how they feel about the history of the game they're working on. I really don't know how you can try and make this a negative. Like, it's just a smart marketing decision. Because even to this day, if you look up Modern Warfare on Google, you get a ton of COD 4 results. Even though I literally don't care about that game whatsoever anymore. I'm trying to find information on the new Modern Warfare. So from a marketing perspective, it makes perfect sense. But of course, you're going to try and twist this and make it seem like they're just trying to erase the history of the older game games and make this new game like its own thing, which I really don't see how you can try and twist that. It's a marketing decision to avoid confusion. That's why they're giving it its own unique name. So when people go to find information on the game, they're not given a bunch of results from the older, extremely popular game that is still talked about to this day. So it's just to avoid confusion, but you know, somehow it's a negative apparently. But just to take it another step here, you know, to claim that they're trying to remove the legacy of the older games is so dumb because they are literally packaging one of the older games with every single pre-ordered copy of Doom Eternal. They're giving everyone the remaster of Doom 64. But like I said, guys, this video is full of big-brained activity, and we are barely even into this yet. Admittedly, I'm a bit biased about Doom. I made a video about how it's the most influential game of all time, where I condensed years of history and probably a two-hour TEDx talk about the game into 24 minutes. I even taught John Romero a few things about Doom that he didn't know. Holy shit, dude, the arms on this guy, the flex is too damn strong. Like, just bow down to this man's absolute knowledge of all things Doom. So, yes, I'm biased. I've never said I wasn't. This, however, is weird. It's so weird. Why is there platforming in my Doom? There's literally Assassin's Creed Prince of Persia style swinging poles in my Doom. This isn't to say that Doom hasn't had some light platforming before, jumping from area to area, or using the environment to facilitate movement and do things faster or cooler, but glowing yellow poles that swing you. This is like basic stuff from a tutorial level of a platforming game. This is such a fucking nitpick, dude. Like, honestly, you're gonna bitch about them adding more ways to increase the fluidity of combat. Like, you're really gonna bitch about the fact that they've added more movement mechanics into the game. Like, Jesus Christ. I mean, this is like some boomer level shit. Like, oh, it's different, so it's bad. Jump on the pole, swing to the next platform. Doom has double jumps. Apparently, they've added in a dashing ability, which feels ripped right out of Doom VFR, but whatever. I mean, it couldn't just be the fact that, you know, Doom and Doom VFR are the exact same franchise. At least it sort of makes sense in the movement style of Doom. It has a grappling gun straight from Just Cause, which, I mean, it's kind of stupid on paper, but it looks okay in the footage. All right, I'll admit this is a nitpick on my part, but how the fuck can you not say that that grappling hook is not the most fucking badass thing you've ever seen? Like, swinging around in the air from the super shotgun getting aerial kills is probably one of the sickest things I think I saw in the entire lead-up to Doom Eternal. Like, that mechanic alone has me so hyped. I really just cannot wait to get my hands on this. Like, this is one of the first times in a very long time I am legitimately excited excited for a video game. You've got some sweet air kills, and again, it facilitates cool kills and faster gameplay. Core concepts of Doom. But parkour? Poles for parkour in Doom? Okay. Well, at least it's just that. Except now there's wall climbing. Like, it's bad enough that we have Sausage Doom Guy now. Just picture this sausage in a suit grappling a wall and leaping from side to side like he's Lara Croft. It's the most ridiculous thing. Yeah, I really don't see a problem with this. They're just adding variety to the different ways you traverse the environment. Again, I really don't see what the difference is between climbing up a wall versus jumping on like six boxes that are stacked up. Like, really does it make a difference? But again, peak boomer logic on display here. It's bad because it's different. And it just doesn't even fit wall climbing. The only thing this game appears to be missing from playing platformers in general is a collectathon, which Doom absolutely already had, so here you go. Collect-a-Doom. 
This might sound like I hate finding secrets and cool things in games, which isn't true. Well shit, you could have fooled me. I like that there's extra ammo, hidden weapons, easter eggs, and more armor hidden in the vents. I don't like that I'm going to have to jump on a yellow pole, climb to a clearly marked wall with white chunks taken out of it, and then leap to the other side. Then jump onto a yellow platform area to pull myself up. And there's a yellow star, and I just need 998 more. Why does it look like his gameplay footage is from the Switch version, dude? Like, that game is running awful, but at the same time, like, what is the difference between climbing up this wall, swinging across a pipe, versus, you know, jumping from box to box in order to climb up a ledge with a green light marking where the collectible is? I really just don't get this, dude. Like, honestly, these are such nitpicks. And to say a game looks terrible because they're adding variety to the traversal mechanics is absolutely retarded. When you listen to the Doom creative director or executive producer, it's like they have no vision for Doom beyond what they've been told to think. There will be eight guns because in Doom you've got to have a shotgun, you've got to have a plasma rifle, you've got to have a rocket launcher. They're focusing on the lore of Doom and expanding it into a Doom universe because God knows that the thing Doom was missing was a compelling storyline. So I just want to touch on these weapons real quick. It's not just a copy-paste from other games because, you know, they have to have a shotgun, they have to have a rocket launcher. If you actually read the quote he posted, which he skipped right over, it says that they've reworked all the weapons so they feel unique to this game. So it's not just a copy-paste of the weapons because those are the weapons that Doom has always had. And on top of that, how is it a negative thing that they're improving on the story in a game that has literal perfection for gameplay? Like, the only area you could legitimately argue that Doom 2016 could possibly improve on was the actual story. The story in Doom 2016 was fine for a pure gameplay experience, but if they want to have that amazing gameplay experience paired with a compelling story, why is that negative? You've got to have multiplayer, and since the last Doom's multiplayer died pretty quickly due to a botched beta, let's add in invasions from Dark Souls, which they call one of the ways you can play the Doom Dance in a social way. What the hell is a Doom Dance anyway? The Doom Dance with your friends is a really big thing for us. The main thing is it allows you to experience the Doom Dance with your friends. What? are you talking about? Seriously. Well, would you look at that? The Doom expert himself has met his wit's end. I mean, the Doom dance, using common sense, is pretty easy to figure out. It's you moving around the arena, killing demons, just traversing the different environments. Like, it's really not that hard to figure out. And playing in multiplayer implies that one person is the Doom Slayer, the other person is the demon. This is really not hard to figure out, but you know what, man? You can also turn off this multiplayer if you don't want the invasion system. They're not forcing you to use it, like he's implying. Doom is a game, and games are meant to be fun. I totally understand gamifying what would, in reality, be a pretty awful experience to try to live through. But it's this misguided need to make everything more extreme. Ha 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 That seems to have led to things like our popcorn jackpot armor dispenser. This just feels so wrong. And I don't even know how to express the level of dismay and distaste I had when I saw this in the reveal. How... I just, I really don't even know at this point, man. Like, what the fuck is he even talking about? Oh my god, the armor particles fly out at an angle that I don't like. I mean, what the fuck kind of complaint is that? Are you gonna complain that the fire is a certain hue of yellow instead of red? Like, I'm just, I really don't even know what to think anymore, dude. Of course, it's all about making sure you get a game benefit and an awesome visual spectacle. You know, Doom did pretty good on the visual spectacle thing without feeling so cheapened. Who are they trying to appeal to with platforming and wall jumping, sausage marines, and popcorn enemies? It's bizarre. In fact, everything Bethesda has been doing this year is bizarre. Did you watch QuakeCon? Are you excited for Doom Eternal? Let me know in the comments. I'm sure it'll all sell well, because you gotta get those pre-order bonuses. <laughs> yeah, I want to kill myself, man. This guy's actually trying to draw a comparison between Doom Eternal and Star Wars Battlefront 2. I just... <sighs>
I really can't fucking do this shit anymore, man. This is what you guys put me through to make YouTube videos, okay? I just want you to know that I am legitimately suffering to bring you guys content on a daily basis because you only have to listen to it once. I have to listen to it at least four times. I have to find the video. I then have to rewatch it in order to chop it up to make the response video. I then watch it again during editing, and then after all said and done, I have to watch it a fourth time after it is rendered and uploaded to YouTube to make sure everything turned out okay. So, you know, it may not be so bad for you, but I'm telling you, man, this shit starts to wear down on you very quickly. Everything just starts to feel sad, man. Everything around you, the world turns gray. You start to wonder if living even has a point. I mean, honestly, at this point, I'm starting to wonder if Alex Jones was right this entire time. Are they really putting something in the water to not only turn the frogs gay, but to make people's brains shrivel up to the size of a fucking raisin? That doesn't change the fact that I just don't feel any excitement about Doom Eternal. If you like this video, leave a like and share it to all your friends, especially if they work at Bethesda. Hopefully, they can rein in their insanity before Collected Doom becomes the rage of the new id. If you didn't like this video, then don't do either of those, but if you did, you can watch another one in the corner right now, and as always, we'll see you on the next one. Well, thank God that's over, man. We survived. You know, my brain is somehow in one piece at this point. But luckily, Doom Eternal is almost here. The game looks absolutely amazing. And well, I can't wait to get my hands on it personally. I have my collector's edition with like the Doom helmet pre-ordered for my PC, which is going to be awesome to have. And overall, man, it's the first game in a very long time, like I said, that I am genuinely excited about. And plus, I finally get to use it for gameplay footage in the background, which I'm sure you will be very happy about as well, because we're using the same 12 Doom level for like a year and a half now is kind of getting old in all honesty but anyway guys with that said let me know in the comment section if you're looking forward to doom eternal and well i think that's going to be an overwhelming yes if you ask me but anyway with that said that does it for this video today if you did enjoy it make sure to hit that like button i would greatly appreciate it and as always i want to thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to check out the video and for all the recent support as well and i will catch you guys next time Uh, yeah, my life is lovely now, I'm focused on me. You said you